Hey guys, so I got here uh, a Chinese motherboard from AliExpress. Uh, you can kind of see it. There's the uh, lime green, black down there. But anyway, um, I booted into the BIOS. If you're not sure how to do that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, go to Google and uh, figure out uh, the um, the key. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, the key needed to go into the BIOS. Uh, but um, this is uh, the one that I got from AliExpress. It has a pretty modern motherboard. And uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you, again, this looks very legacy-based, um, old style. But here you go. This is the American Mega Trends BIOS Core version 5.11, UEFI 2.4, etc., etc. This is a X99 hyphen P4 uh, board. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how you can enable. Now, as I've shown in other videos, the um, if you can enable the resizable uh, bar as well as the 4G above uh, in the BIOS, you can increase the um, the performance of your graphics card, even if it's an old motherboard, old CPU, and an old GPU, it doesn't matter. So anyway, you gotta kinda search for it. I, it took me a while to search for it, but um, what saves us here in this case is this is more or less a modern board. So it, uh, in some older versions, there's a way to uh, get this to be enabled. It's not there by default. Um, I'm going to try to link a video if that's not your case. There's some better people that explain it to me. But anyway, go here using the up and down left arrow keys on your keyboard. Go to where it says, uh, let's see if I remembered where it is, advance. And then you're going to go to PCI subsystem settings, I believe. And right here, you'll see that it says something about above, above 4G decoding. This was originally set to um, disabled. I just moved it from a disabled to enabled. And I did the same thing for the resize bar support. So by enabling these two that were previously set to disabled, I've now uh, going to increase the performance on this um, lower end motherboard that has a lower, uh, well, old uh, Xeon processor. And it's going to make use of the video RAM on my graphics card. So I'm going to expect to see some better performance. Again, above 4G decoding as well as resize bar support, you need to set it to um, enabled. Both of them are set to enabled, as you can see. And then after you've changed that setting, you're going to go back to the, uh, you're going to go ahead and hit escape on your keyboard. And then you're going to go to where it says save and exit here scroll down and then we're going to select save changes and exit and then I hit enter key and then it's going to ask me are you sure you want to save this configuration you're going to say yes and there you go we're going to let it uh, boot up and um, it's rebooting and uh, I'm looking forward to testing it but that's how you do it on these Chinese motherboards uh, the Chinese motherboards uh, at, from AliExpress, very cheap, very affordable, and um, I would recommend that you stick to getting a new one. And let's see, I got this thing that popped up. I've never seen that before, but I'm um, not sure if you got a chance to see that, but it's it's okay. It's um, We're going to go ahead and proceed. Whoa, this is not what I'm expecting. This is like the old Microsoft thing here. That was interesting. I've, I have not seen that in a long time. I'm doing this video on the fly, and... Um, yeah, that's that was interesting. Let's see if it loads into my OS Windows. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I made some changes to the motherboard, um, enabling the 4G. And there we are. We are back in business. And uh, there we go. Uh, but that's it for this video. Let me know if this is helpful. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for supporting, guys.